Welcome to the Skills Developer Tutorial Series, a step-by-step -step video series designed to get your game up and running on the Skills platform as smoothly as possible. In this video, you'll learn how to build your game to a mobile device in the sandbox. Here, we'll see how it's done on iOS, and in our next video, we'll cover how to do it for Android. And away we go! The Skills platform values fairness and integrity above all else. Before building, it's important to test your game in a controlled environment to ensure it's working properly. The sandbox environment allows you to test your game throughout development without affecting your production environment. First, open your Unity project and make sure the skills settings are set up correctly for your game. Go to Skills Settings and enter the game ID. You can retrieve the game ID from the developer console. Select the sandbox environment and choose the orientation for your project. Here, we'll use the portrait orientation. Before you build your game to an iOS device, you need to configure the external dependency manager. This will include skills-specific dependencies in your project. Go to Assets, External Dependency Manager, iOS Resolver, Settings. Click the Reset to Defaults button, then OK. Next, go to Assets, External Dependency Manager, iOS Resolver, Install CocoaPods. Now that you've configured the external dependency manager for iOS, we need to configure the player and build settings. Go to File, Build Settings. Then click Player Settings. Select the iOS tab, then open the Resolution and Presentation section. Change the Resolution Scaling Mode to Fixed DPI and set the Target DPI to 328. Open the Other Settings section. Make sure the Metal Write Only Back Buffer and Allow Downloads Over HTTP options are deselected. Now close the Player Settings. In the Build Settings, make sure the scenes you want to include in the build are in the Scenes in Build section. Your Start Menu scene should be at Index 0. Change the platform to iOS, then build your project. When the build is complete, a window will appear with your Xcode project build. To open your project in Xcode, it is important to open the xWorkspace file. Do not open the project with the Xcode project file. Once the project is opened in Xcode, you'll need to connect a device and select a profile. Then build your Xcode project. Now your game should be running on your iOS device. Well done! Congratulations! You're now ready to test your game's functionality. If you run into issues during the build process, refer to our documentation for more detailed instructions. Just follow the link in the video description below. In the next video, you'll learn how to build to Android. Or you can skip ahead to the last video to learn how to build your game to production and upload it to the Skills Developer Console. See you there!